Hey guys, welcome back to JRTN Gaming. Today I decided I'm in the mood for some more Alice, so let's pick up where we left off. So last time I played, I tried to play using my controller via Steam. It was not going so well, so went ahead and did a little bit of research and figured out if playing with keyboard and mouse, the way that you swap your weapons is by keyboard numericals, so one or two, at least this early on in the game. So... Let's see if that doesn't help a little bit with these teapot guys. Madcaps? Madcaps, okay. So these guys are pretty simple. Just run up to them. Hit them a time or two. Make sure you dash out of the way control to target them all right and grab those teeth and oh the bridge is down okay oh shield guy all right so he can dodge my attack very good to know but if he dodges then he should be vulnerable for a little bit you would think so what i like to do is usually oof uh, Alice, I'm gonna need you to move there, honey. There we go, and I see one coming up behind me, so we're just gonna dash away. I'm doing this the wrong way, honestly. I should just go ahead and take those guys out, and then all I have to deal with is shield guy. Oh, okay, not yet. Here we go. Come on, Alice. So he's confused and I was able to hit him and kill him. Okay, up we go. And around the pretty little teapot houses. There we go. So that flower, after shrinking in it, went ahead and healed me for a little bit, and then also gave me teeth, and Mad Hatter's that way. Okay. Let's go check him out. And let's see what's going on in his little domain. Alright, so I think I have everything here. Okay, Mad Hatter's this way. You see the little path, which you can either stay shrunken, you know, to cross, or... You can just kind of do that and remember where it ends. Try not to fall. It could have Grab the memory. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Here we go, for a better view. Alright, up here and... I think this is the only way to get over here. For some reason I thought that there were two ways to do this, but maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Probably. It's been so long. There we go. So, I don't want to go too far, but I do want to play some of this. Alright, vents need to be activated in order to work. They can rotate Alice to exit the vent, press space bar, press blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. Press space bar or simply move away from it. Oh, well, there's one. Let's see if we can take him out from here. Yay! That did work. Okay. That's not, you know, concerning or anything. Okay. 
No! <sighs> there should be something over here. Ah! That's what's over here. Okay, what does that unlock? That! Alright, so here's the steam vent to go up here and grab that memory. Floop! Okay, so now we're over here. We're gonna go ahead and slaughter these guys. I thought my grain crashed again. <sighs> yeah, 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 no, that, that's great. Thank you for not dying. Let me make sure there's nothing else I need to grab from out here. It doesn't look like there's much I can do. Okay, let's do it this way. Then come over here and pull the lever. Hmm. Looks like they have a pretty good meal started. If you're into that kind of mystery food. So guys, so far we have made it to the Mad Hatter's domain. We have picked up a couple of memories so far, I think. And um, just kind of learned the new mechanics of this area. Which mostly includes the steam vents and um, the new madcap enemies. If you guys want to see more, please leave a comment or a like. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel, you know, that way you can get the notifications next time we post. Have a good day!